parts of Syracuse, Salve, DeWitt, Lincourt become an orange zone. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us. There you have it. Governor Cuomo today putting parts of Onondaga County into the state's microcluster orange zone. Let's take a look. It is much of the city of Syracuse, including downtown for sure. Parts of Salve, Lincourt, DeWitt. The yellow zone's also expanding to include now Manlia, Cicero, parts of Camillus, Fairmount, parts of Jamesville. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon and Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh breaking it all down at a briefing this afternoon. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was there for us. And Andrew, just days before Thanksgiving, bad time for a lot of businesses like bars and restaurants. They're now in the orange zone. Can that be changed at any point? Well, it could be changed eventually, but the governor actually mentioned yesterday he doesn't want zones to move too quickly in and out of different colors because it, it doesn't offer a sense of stability to anyone. But we know that the mayor and county executive are working with the governor to, to try to figure out if there's any changes he can make. And we'll hear more about that from Josh Martin in downtown Syracuse in, in just a little bit. But a couple of things I want to mention. First, the zip codes in the zone. We saw the orange map, but there's a lot of confusion about exactly who the orange zone restrictions apply to. It's zip codes 13203 through all the consecutive numbers until 13210, also 13215, parts of that zip code, and 13224. Those are the places where bars and restaurants can't serve customers inside. It's where gyms and salons have to close, and it's where school districts need to go remote for four years days before testing students again in order to establish a low enough infection rate to reopen. Here's what the county executive had to say about how all of the community ended up getting this orange zone in effect, but also how the community can get the orange zone to go away. We have a role to play, and if we all play it, some of these things will iron themselves out and will be quickly in zones and out of zones. If we don't listen to uh, Dr. Gupta's advice and others, um, then this might be a longer process. And then that, that limits some of the things that we like. We all worked very hard to have an economy open that was growing, unemployment rate dropping. Um, we got a lot at stake here. I want to give a few details about what this means for school districts. The county executive and the mayor of Syracuse think the schools won't miss a beat because most schools start their Thanksgiving break this coming Wednesday when the orange zone restrictions go into effect. And they suspect schools will be able to reopen this coming Monday because the county's already been testing in so many of these schools. The only difference between the yellow and the orange is that the, the schools have to close for four days first. So that would include, according to what the mayor said, the entire Thanksgiving recess and the weekend after. And because the county's already been testing, they hope that those will count toward the low infection rate proof that will allow them to reopen on Monday. But a lot of this still needs to be clarified between the local leaders and the state leaders, but they have hope right now that it won't be the biggest interruption for these schools. Now